Bokusa, NTV. All right, now former President Uhuru Kenyatta today stormed the new Jubilee Party headquarters in Kileleshwa, seemingly to stamp authority as the party leader following leadership wrangles in the party. The unexpected visit by the former president came after supporters of Jeremiah Kioni and Kanini Kega clashed at the party headquarters over the control of the party. The Jubilee Party is an affiliate party under the Azimio Moja, but a breakaway faction led by Kanini Kega declared their allegiance to President William Ruto shortly after he won the 2022 elections. Well, NTV's Milita Oletengis has more on this story. The wrangles within the Jubilee party continue to rage, forcing the party leader to intervene. The former president has been silent on the takeover by the Kanini Kega-led faction. Kega says he was rightfully elected as the party secretary general through a national executive council meeting held in February, ousting and battled secretary general Jeremiah Kioni. Sisi hakuna kitu tunauliza. Hakuna kwa mtu tunaenda. Hakuna cha mtu tunauliza. Tunataka tu haki yetu. Na hata wakati walijaribu kutujanganya chama, tulienda. Na tukafuata ratiba ya kwenda kotini mpaka tukapata haki yetu. Kwa nini sasa mje mtusumbue? Before former president Uhuru Kenyatta made a surprise visit at the party headquarters, there was a clash between supporters of Jeremiah Kioni and Kanini Kega and members of the Azimio party who tried to access the party headquarters. Police lobbed tear gas canisters to disperse the rowdy youth. A visible angry Kenyatta chased away police officers from the premises. Last week, the political party's tribunal upheld the Jubilee Party's National Executive Council resolution that installed Iala MP Kanini Kega as Kioni's replacement. Kioni's fate now lies with the party's internal dispute tribunal resolution committee. In its judgment, delivered on April 16th, the tribunal said that the notice for the National Executive Committee meeting issued on February 2nd and the subsequent National Executive Council meeting on February 10th, which imposed Kega, was done in accordance with the party constitution. We are hoping that from today he will not purport to represent Jubilee. He will not purport to have this office as a headquarter because this office is also, also not gazetted. As the official headquarter of Jubilee, and from today, Jubilee will not operate from uh, this headquarter. Uh, Kioni anapozungumza, anazungumza kwa niaba yake mwenyewe. Hawezi zungumza kwa niaba ya hii chama. Hii chama iko na whip, anaitua Samuel uh, Arama. Iko na deputy whip, ambaye ni mimi mwenyewe Sara Korele. Kwa hivyo, anybody outside that, sijui ni nini anatuambia. Kenyatta's comeback politically sends an authoritative message on his position on the party coup, but also a political standing that may shake up the national politics. The takeover also resulted in the suspension of the party treasurer Kagwe Gishoi and the vice chairperson David Murate. There is opposition to the decision on grounds that only the party leader can convene the National Executive Council of the party. Melita Oletenges, NTV.